stay like it's deep. Lucky, 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 lucky. What's going on, Scoop? What's going on, Scoop? Burrito secured. At least burrito prices haven't gone up. Gas prices are hellacious. Oh, it's never gonna end. 13 gallons of diesel and I've spent $70. What the heck is going on, Lucky? The world's ending. Your breath stinks, girl. What's crank wieners? Good morning. We're getting things kicked off at the gas station. This is kind of just an inside look at my morning routine. I like to wake up, head to the shell, grab a, a burrito that usually results in me having to my pants right around 12 p.m. Grab a uh, Celsius, big Celsius guy. Today we're doing watermelon because we feel like it, right? Lucky we just don't care, we're feeling like it. Burrito, Celsius, big water, fill the tank up. Boat's already got gas, so that's nice. Usually it's like fill the truck up with diesel, fill the boat up with mid-grade. And then at that point, you've already killed like 45 minutes and the sun's coming up and it's like, okay, well, there goes the morning bite. But we're headed uh, about an hour and 20 due west. I'll kind of explain more once we get there, but I figured we'd get today's video kicked off. All the pumps are filled up. Anyway, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm so freaking tired. We'll meet you guys at the lake. Oh, the opposite. He's trying to... In my boat. Yeah. We out here. We out here. We've got the stinky wiener. We got Caleb. I, pr I may have not put the plug in the boat. I don't know. I forget. But no, I think I did. We're ready to roll though. Usually this time of year we're up shallow, you know, sight fishing for these bass, but winter just won't leave us alone. So the water temp is unfortunately still 40s, in the 40s, 47 degrees. I think like this time last year, we were literally catching them off of spawning flats and the water temp was like 58 in the morning. So not really what I anticipated, but I also kind of assumed the worst and that worst being that it's still freaking cold. So, you know, initially wanted to come out here and drag some baits around, throw some linker logs, but it might be, uh, a bit of a pre-spawn deal still. So I imagine there's probably a, a couple really ambitious ones up in the creek, not actually spawning, but getting ready to. And we might have to take advantage of those specific fish because usually the big ones are the first ones to roll up. They can be kind of dumb. So I have literally no expectations today. We've, we're just gonna basically explore this amazing lake, one of my favorite lakes ever. You guys probably know where I'm at. And uh, we're gonna try some different stuff too. We got some pretty big, heavy artillery tied up in the front of the boat. I'll show you guys that later, but let's just have ourselves a day. I think we'll stay tuned and let's go crank. All right, Weena, what are we throwing? What are you throwing? I'll, I'll get you rigged up with a, what do you want? A lunker log that kind of fits your whole persona. We've got some interesting stuff over here. It might still be a little bit too cold uh, in this part of Texas for what, what I'd like to do today, but I've got some big old swimmers tied on, something I want to get into more this year. And there's no better time than now. Got a Clash, a Hinkle. I've got a 250 in here somewhere that actually a viewer sold me. When I was at the ramp last time, I fished this place, which is really hilarious. But we're gonna try this, throw this around. I anticipate, you know, cutting all that off and tying A-rigs on in probably about 20 minutes, because that's just the kind of angler I am. But yeah, we're gonna try that anyway. There's, there's a very high possibility that some of these fish are shallow, and uh, those ones that are shallow are usually really freaking aggressive. So let me see if we can get some on the Clash. See if we can get some on the big old swimmers. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, that was I watched that one come all the way up for it. They're over here, they're over here, there's a possibility. I was on the swim bit for like five casts and I haven't caught one yet. So I'm probably gonna cut it off and tie up an area, I mean. It's kind of usually how it goes. No, I'm just kidding. I do think it might be a little bit too, I mean, I kind of timed this wrong. What you really want is that water to be like 55 in the morning to be throwing this where I'm throwing this. This is a huge spawning cut. Like probably in two weeks or maybe less than, this cut will be filled with quite literally 100 bass, if not more. And the best way to get some of those bigger ones, ouch, is throw big baits. Like this is kind of a unique one. I think these are made in Japan. It's a DRT clash. Use it a couple times. I need to get more into this. You guys really have been advocating on me throwing swim baits because you guys want to see me catch fish, but also catch big fish. That is the whole point of, of a large swim bait is you're not going to necessarily have maybe a hundred fish day per se, but you're going to have a day in which you hook possibly the biggest bass of your life. And this is a really good lake for it. Super clean, super deep. It's loaded full of gizzard shad. 
And that's exactly what a swim bait like this imitates. It imitates one of those big gizzards. Matter of fact, there's actually a school of them back here right now. And when I brought it over this deep edge, I watched the fish on my graph come out of 15 feet of water, sniff it, and then go back down. So these baits have like a really, it's like a double-edged sword. You know, it's like they have such a unique ability of drawing fish in. But the downside of that is they don't always eat. Like they'll, they'll follow you all the way to the boat like a muskie for northern guys. Like it's like musky fishing. They'll come right to the boat, they'll look at it, and then they'll just go zoop, right back down. They're like, oh yeah, we we're just looking. We're just window shopping. Um, but there are obviously a lot of times where they'll come up and absolutely smash it. And usually it's gonna be a big one. So I'm just kind of tossing this around. This isn't necessarily, I, I guess you could consider this a glide bait. It's a jointed two piece and you just kind of twitch it back and forth. A really good bait. I, I don't throw it enough and I need to, but we're gonna try in here a little bit. We might honestly switch the A-Rig. I just came out here and like everyone's throwing a freaking A-Rig right now. Um, <laughs> that's the result of the big fish that have been coming on it, or it's been one of my videos that they've seen or something, but a lot of guys are throwing A-Rigs and this water temp is is telling that it, it is A-Rig water temp, but should warm up. Do you like that minute long monologue? You guys get the gist. Throwing, throwing swimmers. Holy hell, dude. There is just a pile of bait getting absolutely massacred down on the end of this dock right here. That's a good one too. Oh my God, they're everywhere. I've never seen them like actually like actively crush bait before on the graph. Not like this at least. Oh, I just got hit. He's on me. How did I... There we go, I'm on. There we go, good one too. Oh wow, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. First bass of the day. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, not terrible, little guy. We'll get started with him. Oh, wow. Oh my God, there's another one down there. There's like there's like two more down there. This is so sick. We could stay on the spot for a hot minute in all honesty. <laughs> nice little largey. Oh God, don't get a hook in the hand. That would not be a good way to start the day. Oh, yes, sir. There's like a school of these guys down here. Probably like, I don't know, 10. And there's a pile of shad under the dock. First one on the rift bait. That felt really good. <laughs> we might be able to stay here for a minute as long as he shad around. Nice one, probably about a two pounder. That was cool. Docks and rip baits can be such a good way to get fish in that pre-spawn late winter time. You know what time it is? Cause they rip down. <laughs> such, a, such a POS. Yup, 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 yup. There we go. They're all over the place. Nothing big, but Good to get things started. Oh, just kidding, he's gone. Okay, let's try that again. It's like they only want shad. Dude, that's incredible. That's actually incredible. There's so many freaking, but I can't leave this spot. This is insanity. Oh, wow. That was decent. I really got, oh no, it's, oh, it's a freaking, <laughs> that makes sense. I forgot that these guys are even in here. <laughs> I'm so honed in on these school and largemouth that the striper also like to school in with the, uh, the largies. I was like, dude, that's actually like a big fish. It is a big fish, it's not the big green one we want. Oh, I didn't even see him, he just came up and throttled it. It's not a day out in this lake until you've caught one of these. Yep, and a creek chain on, sure enough, striper. See you, bud. What a loser. I read online that it's 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 safe for wiener dogs to have just one small bite of cheese. Kind of like cats are, what is it, like cats are only allowed to have one slice of salami? It doesn't hurt them. But in the instance in which you spoil your wiener dog, you give them two pieces of cheese. She loves cheese. Don't you, don't you. Okay, spot number two. This is a really steep bank. We might throw the swim bait, the rip bait, the A-rig. I wish the water was warmer. I can't do anything about that. So I'm still like, I mean, I came here with shallow water tactics tied on and I like had to take everything off and switch around. So we got this huge bluff bank right here and it leads into a creek just down yonder. So this is a perfect area for those fish to stop, feed, and then eventually go up shallow. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get a big one. Boy, dude, I'm like finding lots of fish right now. I just cannot get them to fully commit for whatever reason. All good size ones too.
There's one. It's about time. Reeling it in. Of all retrieves, I hooked, I hooked it reeling it in. You gotta be kidding me. Little guy. It's one of the bunch though. There's like probably 15 fish down there, all about that size. Maybe a crankbait would be the move. Oh, little fat dude. Fish number like four of the day. Look at that pre-spawn gut. Ooh, ooh, pre-spawn gut. Maybe a crankbait, I should try a crankbait over this. I, I found a school of fish, but they chased the A-Rig and they didn't eat it and then they're not really too keen on the on the jerk bait until I reeled it in straight. So I wonder if they want something with a straight retrieve. I'm gonna give that a go. Nice little fat, chunky pre-spawn LM Bizzle. See you, dude. You got almonds all over the boat. Who did that? Who did that? Who got almonds all over the boat? She helped herself with the cheese. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Yep, saw that happen, that was cool. Feels decent. Oh yeah, not a bad little guy. A little largemouth. He came out of thin air. Oh, slowly but surely we figure something out. Sticking to the rip bait. And nothing huge, but I'm looking at my graph and we're getting some really big followers for sure. I mean, they're down there, but I don't know, that might be in that in-between time. That's just a good excuse for not catching fish, honestly. But this is a fish, we caught one. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, that was an epic backflip. He just shot up and went and ate it. Usually with the rip bait, you want to look for some wind. You know, it's nice to throw on a cloudy day, but the water temperature screams rip bait. It's 50 degrees. There's a lot of fish suspended, a lot of fish eating bait. So we're sticking with the deep diver. Decent, decent. All right, folks. I don't think you're right for this. Oh my God. Why am I doing this to myself? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be a striper. It's a nine pounder. Okay. I was waiting for that. Stop, 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 stop. Why did I do that? Like, why? I knew what the f was gonna happen. I didn't even set the hook. How did you get hooked that well? Did you get that release. Oh my god. Oh my god. 10 pounder. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That was a giant fish. I wish, I wish we were recording on the screen. He just barely touched it. Oh my God. Giant fish, giant fish. God, you idiot. Oh, here we go. Round two. What the f What the f He f came back for it, dude. He's come for it again. Huge. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. How's it going? Good. You have, yeah, you have some big ones under your dock. <laughs> That's what I was just saying to my buddy. Decided to come over here just for some some b-roll some epic b-roll look at this this is insane i don't think you guys can fully grasp how huge this wall is i'm assuming this is 
part of the old river system. And you know, over the past couple of decades, they've dammed this place and made it into a lake. But this is what's left. It's not necessarily the best fishing spot, but I'm sure there's probably some bass that post up under here. Definitely some striper. It's just really freaking deep. Dude, oh my God, I just, he just ate it. It's a giant. He just crushed it, dude. It's an absolute giant. I'm not even kidding, dude. This is a big fish. <laughs> I don't know how big this thing is, but it's real. Oh my God, dude, it's a nice one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need that because it is a jerk fish. That is so cool, dude. I've never caught, I've actually never really fished this bluff wall. I always assumed it, oh my. Oh. Damn it. Well, I just dumped an absolute giant. It wasn't DD status, but it was. It would have been greatly appreciated on a day like today where it seems like it's one of those, I don't know, one of those days where it's like you can look but don't touch. Like I was telling Caleb, I've seen more fish today than I ever have, uh, you know, in the shallows. And I can't, I just can't get them to bite. And I like never fished this bluff wall. And we just came over here to get some B-roll. I saw some fish under that rope, threw my jerk bait over there. I literally watched him come up and eat it. Like he swirled on it. It was insane. But you know, I dumped him. Like a six or seven pounder gone. Would have greatly appreciated a fish of that size. It's been a slow day, but hey, you can't complain. It's like 86 degrees today, no wind. And you got this. It sucks though. Really wish I'd have caught that one. Some fish on this spot. There we go, on. Little guy, might be figuring something out here. We just came here to get some shots, but that's my second bite on this spot. It's a really deep, I mean, look at this. I'm in 31 right there. And then to my left is just a straight drop. Like what you see above is down below. Of course, you know, the little one doesn't come off. He gets hooked seven different ways to hell. What's up, dude? I hooked your big sister earlier. Tell her I said, hey, and I miss her. You bum. So fast. Like we've had a really like a lot of it gets cut out and I'm getting caught up in the graph and I'm looking at fish and sometimes you just need to step away from this stupid Samsung TV and just go out there and you know fish with your gut. Like this stuff is great, but it has its downsides. So you know, just decided to fish this bank for a little bit because it looked good and I saw those two on my graph. The one eight, another one. Oh wow, dude, hang on. Good things are happening here. This is a little bit, this is a good one. Don't jump. This is a good one. He's not giant, but he's a decent one. I'm gonna figure something out here, dude. I'm gonna actually figure something out. Oh no, he's just, he's just hooked in the top of the head. He's not that good. God, the way they pull though. All right, I'm, I'm guessing these are little buck bass that are moving up to spawn. I mean, this does lead into a big creek channel. It's weird though, I've never fished this. So we're not only, Step outside our comfort zone, but we're just kind of going with your gut. Go with your, go with your heart. Whatever your bass heart tells you, go with it. Thinkies for days. It's all good. We got to shake off the, shake off that bad moment and uh, just keep cranking, keep cranking, never stop. And we will catch you later. Back down in the gorge you go. Hey, that's like three bites in like five minutes. I think we're on to something. Got all these houses are really nice. Oh, that's a fish. Good one too. I haven't had a bite in like three hours. I don't think he's that good. He's hooked funny. Oh, it's a good one. We'll take him. It's not a dink. I think the jerk bait's the move. I just don't, they're just like, it's tough because I'm I watch how they react to it on, on the screen and I'd say 90% of them just kind of let it go over their head. It's a decent one. We'll take this. Out on this main lake point, MLP as my buddy Cole likes to say. And I've seen a lot of really good fish. This is not one of them. It's a decent one, but I had a couple that were big, big that were following me in. It feels weird not throwing an A-rig, I will say that. <laughs> and they fight so hard. And if we could just get on a good bite, we'd have such a fun day. There we go. Not a bad a little stinky. I was like actually surprised when I felt the rod load up. I was like, oh, there's no way that's actually a fish. 
Yeah. We'll take it. I mean, I'm, I'm pumped for this. This is this feels good to come tight on a, on a bass. It's been a struggle day, and this is a lake where, you know, I've come to and caught like 50 fish. You know, one of my biggest bass ever came out of this lake. So it's like kind of weird to hit a bit of a lull. We still have time. We still figure it out. It might be an afternoon deal too. It might be kind of that later in the day PM type deal. Cool looking fish. Just perfect. Thank you, Sandy. That was fun. I'll take that all day. Just throwing a pro blue plus one jerk bait, deep diving jerk bait up on this steep bank. There's a bunch of brush and rock mixed in too. So it's a really ideal spot for these fish to post up and eat, you know, shad or minnows or whatever they're, whatever they're chewing on. God, that felt good. I am getting my ass handed to me. This is what we got going on. We got a, we got a case of the, the lock jaws, the fish that don't want to bite are the ones that are really frustrating me. And that seems to be every fish in this entire lake right now. Uh, it started off so optimistic, you know, let me reel back kind of the, the whole progress. I don't know how much I've been talking, My like I've got a vein that's about to pop my forehead and I'm just so like glued to trying to catch a fish. And I know that's not what this is all about. What it's all about is having a good day and like making a good video for you guys. But at the same time, like we're still out here looking for more DDs. Like I'm trying to collect them all. Like we got a 10, we got 11, still haven't caught a 12 or 13 yet. And they're in here. And this is like a really good time to catch them that pre-spawn zone. So anyway, I apologize if I haven't really breaking down what's been uh, what's been happening here on this red Lunsky. But we start off the day in some cuts where usually I find them bedding. Uh, they were like, you know, in the area probably in a week or so they'll be doing it. They're chasing bait around. Looked really optimistic, like seen feeding fish that close to the bank. Awesome, you know, hooked a couple, missed a couple, then all of a sudden they kind of fizzled out. And I'm like, okay, that sucks. Went to the next cut over, literally the exact same thing. Like first stock on the point bait bass it was just like copy and paste but in a different area so that happened i think we picked up like a fish per spot and then i decided to hit some of my confidence zone and also try some new stuff too whenever you're out in the water try something new you kind of like get get in the lull or get in a rut um wipe the slate clean and try a, a different bank that maybe looks good that you've never fished before so i did a bit of that and we ended up hooking like a six seven pounder that fish came off it's like all i want to say about that is um and then we went exploring up north in this part of the lake which is a little bit dirtier the water's warmer it's like 56 degrees but the conditions for the most part remain unchanged it's, there's no wind which makes it even hotter which is you know, not bad i guess it's gonna gonna be good for that you know shallow water spring bite i'd say the vast majority of the fish that have i've at least caught today or i've had you know react to my lure is the jerk bait like a deep diving pro blue jerk bait um it's just crazy they'll, they'll run on a tarrant right at the freaking boat like they'll they'll chase it chasing as soon as they get to the boat they're done and i switch up my cadence switch up colors just nothing really it's it's as if there's a wall between me and these stupid freaking bass we're not giving up we got a couple more hours to go catch some fish at the very least we're gonna have fun maybe i'll fall in the water for you guys i don't know i'll do something stupid maybe i'll wreck my boat that'd be good content right i'll just go over some of these brush piles over here with my lower unit i haven't even broken this boat in yet by the way it's still got seven hours on it seven hours that would be really tragic if, if that happened but anyway this cut looks good looks like it could be the tits mcgee let's go crank him there we go i'm on that took no time at all oh it's a decent little guy so weird dude what did i tell you like i think i might have said earlier today i was like uh, we'll go to Hell's Gate where there's, um, you know, plenty of cool sights, but not a whole lot of fish. This is my third cast over here and we're hooked up. I've never caught fish over here. I don't know why they're over here. I wonder if these fish are like so far pre-spawn or so far into pre-spawn that they're not even thinking about spawning. All they're doing is eating over here, which would make sense because we are in 44 feet of water and I just caught a fish in two feet with my, my rip bait like really pretty fish damn we tried up shallow i went back back to a little creek and we did see one little measly male i think who, who was trying to make a bed but unfortunately there was no fat cellar around for him to mate up with so we ditched that plan we're now back up north cleaner water colder water hoping that maybe these fish are a little bit more behind i think the fish that are like kind of in that between stage are being assholes so we're just trying to target those fish that are actually feeding and aren't thinking about spawning again 
on the rip bait. That was like, what, my third or fourth cast? This is such a weird spot. Like, look at this. Like, you have to envision what is up there is down below. And you have to, like, picture a bass that is just hanging at the top of that. That was kind of a wiener grinder. No pun intended, right? She's like, Dad, you suck. I know. We kind of sucked it up today. Although we sucked it up today, we still caught fish, got to learn a little bit about this lake. That's the cool thing about fishing. I've fished here probably, I don't know, 15, 20 times. It's a really good lake, it's one of my favorite lakes. Today I learned something. I learned that these fish really don't like that warm weather after a prolonged winter. And just about everyone we talked to today had, had, a, had a struggle. Like, you know, no one we pulled up to was either A, catching fish, or B, was like, yeah, we slammed them, or we're hitting them hard. A lot of boats out today. For the most part, the the majority of the narrative was it's freaking tough. And like I said, this time last year, we were catching them shallow. They weren't really shallow. They were kind of in that in-between zone doing weird stuff, pissing me off. I gotta take that front graph off and just start flipping jigs because it's it's tough watching fish not eat your bait and going right over them, making a per perfect cast, and then them just kind of like look at the bait and then snub it and then go back down and then you never being able to catch them but i had a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed as well even though it was a tough day we still want to pump out a video for you guys and share the moment share the experience fish the experience most importantly and just have fun but uh i seriously appreciate the view thank you guys so much for watching we'll catch you in the next one and as always folks keep fishing never stop